calculations of delta H and what equation to use depends on what data is being provided in the question. If it's experimental data and you have a notion of a calorie meter and fluctuation of temperature, we use uh, heat equals mass times a quantity known as specific heat capacity then times fluctuation or the change of the temperature. So Q equals MC delta T, Q equals M cat. Now let's just look at heat capacity. What is that to define it and then use it? Specific heat capacity is amount of heat needed. So it's uh, based on endothermic uh, concept needed to raise the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree Celsius. One degree Celsius change is same as one degree Kelvin change. Now the substance we always use in our calculations is water and its heat capacity is 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Now if you forget the definition and you have the number in data booklet, look at the units. So the denominator is per gram per Celsius. You need 4.18 joules to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Now this quantity could be expressed as the same number except you could have joule per joules per gram per Kelvin. You could also have kilojoules per kilogram so the number doesn't change. Kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. Finally 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Now let's just look at application of uh, MCAT in, in one problem. In a case that, that you might actually do as a lab, we have two grams of an alcohol being burned in a device known as spirit burner. Then uh, your calorie meter is made out of copper and inside the copper we have 100 milliliter of water and its temperature is changed from 24 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Few things you should jot down for yourself, the temperature is increased. That means heat is being released. So this is indication the reaction is XO and delta H will have a negative sign. Now, so let's just apply it into the equation Q equals M cat. First, what is the mass? The mass is the quantity of the water that you have here in the calorie meter. But I have the volume, 100 ml. So what you need to use is density of water and that information. Density of water is equal to one. It's one gram per one centimeter cube. So what this will say, this will say 100 milliliter of water is equal to 100 grams. So that's my mass. I'll bring it down here. I have 100 grams multiplied by heat capacity of the water, which is 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Now what is the change in temperature? It's 45, subtract 24 from it, so you get 21 degrees Celsius. Celsius cancel Celsius and gram cancel grams. So at this stage, what you're going to have is the amount of heat being released. I put my minus sign because we decided it's EXO, and I'm going to have 8778 joules, or I divide it by 1000 and I have negative 8.778 kilojoules. I'm keeping one significant figure extra. Now delta H, which is enthalpy of the system, is always heat divided by the moles of reactant. In this case, moles of ethanol. Now, how do you find moles when you have mass? It's mass divided by molar mass. So I have two grams divided by molar mass of ethanol, which is 46.08 grams per mole. When you do this division, you get 0 0.0434 moles. So finally, our delta H of reaction is equal to minus 8.778 kilojoules divided by 0 0.0434. I'm going to have a three significant figure, so it's minus 202 kilojoules per mole, per mole of ethanol. 
Now this reaction is about 50% off from actual, uh, from theoretical value. Uh, and the reason is simple because you have heat loss all over the place, including inside your calorie meter. So these are, heat loss is your major source of error in this reaction. But this is calculation using MCAT. I will follow it with a couple more examples of MCAT in next slides.